Hey guys, it's me and Glam Good. Nah, 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 nah. Glam. <laughs> and the little pink princess dragon. Hello, everybody. How are you today? I hope it was a great New Year's Eve. Woo, yeah, I hope everybody, you know, got through that and looking forward to kind of starting things afresh and hopefully a big change in, you know, everything. <laughs> everything. Hopefully for the better. For the better. For the better. Better. <laughs> okay. So, um, let's put on some makeup. <laughs> Okay, um, this is just sort of a little, I just wanted to show you how I put on, like, my actual face. Uh, first, obviously, primer, and then, uh, my foundation, and then I use a setting spray, and let that do its thing, and then I go over it again with the foundation, because I have some really bad blemishes all over my face and I want full coverage <laughs> so after <clears throat> one coat of the foundation setting spray second coat of foundation um now I'm gonna powder now I have dry skin so I do not like bake or anything like that but after two layers of a liquid foundation, you can use a little finishing touch, you know, kind of do something there. So, um, this is the Becca, oh gosh, what was this? I don't remember. Becca cooling or something like that. But, um, it's just the can, because <laughs> I really like the screen in here. So I basically took the top off, and what is in here now is, I think it's the Ciate London uh, Coconut Powder. But I turn it upside down a little bit. A little bit and there you got some up there on the screen I just I really like the whole screen thing it's makes it so I don't get too much on here now I'm just gonna kind of stifle it with kind of pushing up motions Oh yeah, I can't remember the brand, but it's definitely coconut. <laughs> I think it's CIA London. Um, I liked the Becca. Although, the whole motivation for it was that it was going to be, you know, it had that, like, wet feel to it. And that's why you had to keep it closed and keep the tight, you know, the the lid on tight all the time, you know, and I did too. I mean, I didn't even, while I was using it, I closed it. And it still dried out. So I don't think, I thought the idea was good. And the first few uses were nice, but, um, I just didn't think it was worth the money for the, you know, if that's what you were going for, for the end result, because... It just, it wasn't going to last. Um, but I do like the net. Now, I don't know if someone else makes this. Just a little bit more, like, up in here. Okay, here we go. See, I don't want, I just want it to, like... Just go on top of the foundation. I don't want it to, you know, I just wanted to, like a little weather coat, a little weather seal, you know. <laughs> um, but if there's someone else that makes this 
uh, the powder jar with that screen. See, it's, it's an actual screen in there. Um, I would love to know. So, if you have any ideas or suggestions of anyone besides Becca that makes that, let me know. Comment below. Um, because I would like to... I would like to have another jar because eventually that screen is going to, you know, rip. Um, maybe two jars? One or two jars? Um, you know, just so that I can use them and then put other powder in them and reuse them. Okay, so the next step after that is back in again. With the setting spray. Um, I use a lot of different setting sprays. Mostly I find difference in the sprayer more than the actual product. I think the way that I use them, almost everything works the same. One of my favorites is Elf, the coconut, because I like the whole coconut thing. And this is like $8. And <clears throat> when you shop at Elf.com, not Sephora, but at the actual Elf site, 15 I think it's $15. Might be $25, but I think it's $15. And you get free shipping. So, like, you get two of these and you get free shipping. You know, so. Some of their products, not that crazy about. But I do like um, the eyeshadows I've tried from them so far. And I really like that setting spray as well. Okay, so now we have kind of a flat, everything's the same color, blah, thing going on here. We are in need of, ah, here we go. I'm going to use my Too Faced Gingerbread Man from last year. I, you know, got the gingerbread. It still smells good. It smells, it smells like cocoa, but it smells a little gingerbread-ish too. Ah, yum. Anyways, so, Wah! Now, I want to be careful not to go in too hard with this. So, you know, you can always build. It's really hard, especially with face products. If you go in too hard with them, you can blend them out. But chances are you're going to be here all day doing that, you know, so. I like to go kind of the jawline, cheekline. Kind of. Up under the mouth and above the chin. And then just kind of up and across the forehead. And now that's just me. Because you got to think about bronzer. If you've ever had a suntan, most of us have. Think about where you were the most tanned. Where you were the most bronzed. That's where your bronzer goes. Ooh. And, uh, like for an actual contour, if you have deep spots that you want to accentuate, you know, like a contour right here, you can do that with like a darker bronzer or contour. Um, I just like to darken this up a little bit because I don't have a lot of lip and basically the the bronzer is dark enough to do that with. Um, 
And if you can make it look like there's a lot of shadow down here, it gives a kind of a <clears throat> cosmetic appearance, shall we say. <laughs> Optical illusion that your bottom lip is larger than it actually is. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to. It's not going to turn a thin lip into a fat lip, but it helps a little bit. Whoops. Come back to your mirror. Okay, and next. Sugar Peach. Face and eye palette. I don't know about the eye part. She is a shimmery thing, though, so I could see where you might use this for. Okay, now, you could be done with the bronzer just like that. Truly, you could. It, it's, you know, but y'all know me. If it sparkles and it shines, I gots to have it. So, we're going to use some of this shiny bronzer in here just a little bit not like the whole deal that we did before but just to kind of shine things up a little bit <laughs> make them a little glowy a little glowy across the nose now, see, I have a large nose, so I don't really like to highlight the tip of my nose. I would use my other bronzer and really darken that up to try to distract from that area. But I don't mind going up here a little bit. Going up there. Maybe up there a little bit. Okay. I've got some kind of allergy thing going on. I'm, I'm not sure what it is, but for a couple of months now, it's like sometimes I am, it's all in my lungs. Sometimes I'm just having a really hard time. And then two hours later, I'm perfectly fine. So I, I, I don't know what's going on, truly. I don't know what's going on. I don't get it. All right. Now that beautiful pink that's in there and this whole palette is shiny so just kind of go right here because we old and the cheeks sag so when it comes to doing like the apple of the cheek no i don't want to accentuate my sagging cheeks i want to kind of bring them up so i'm going to stick to the I make a little arrow here and also maybe just a little bit on each side of the nose above the nose and a tiny bit right here on the end of the chin okay now we're gonna get the excess off of there and go back and blend so that the edges, you know, so it just looks like that's a natural flush and not so much painted on. <laughs> Which it is, painted on, but you know, that doesn't mean we want it to so much look like that, right? Ah, more itch going on. Okay, not bad. Give us a little, <clears throat> a little color. Okay, now, because I just can't stand it. That orange, which has like glitter in it. Yeah, got, yeah. I'm just going to go kind of right there. You see that? <laughs> Can you miss it? Right there. Okay, and oop. Drop my towel. Of course.
I'll tell you, I had a hard time getting motivated today. I just, I could have just stayed in bed all day today. Seriously. I don't know. I was the weather. The holidays. I'm just plain getting old. Blend, 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 blend. So that orange kind of melts your pink into your bronzer a little bit. Um, you know, it looks good on some skin tones and not so good on others. So, you know, the only way to really tell if something's going to work is to try it. You know, just try it. You don't like it? A little soap and water will take care of that. <laughs> a little Fuji Boxy Charm cleanser. <laughs> Woof. Okay. And one of my most favorite parts, for which I use this. Who is this? Uh, billion Dollar Brushes Fan Brush. I like this brush. It's got a lot of brush to it. It's not a, a wimpy little thing. And we're going to do the highlighter. Yay! Because you all know. I love me some highlighter. <laughs> so, we're going to just... Whoops. down in there and just kind of go over the blush a little bit and again over here Ooh, Ooh she's a pretty thing okay and because you know it's me <laughs> We're going to kind of do the hairline. I don't have a lot of... Well, I do. I have a lot of forehead, but... I don't want to make it look like I have so much forehead because I don't have a lot of eye space because of the hoods. So I'm not going to do a lot of highlighter. I'm just going to do it like right up by the hairline. Blend it a little bit. Boom, yeah, that's it. Also, like I said, I'm not going to do the end tip of my nose, which is very popular. But I'm going to do the bridge a little bit. That's, that's nice. A little bit on the chin. So maybe, you know, the chin will... Look a little more pointy instead of the jowls that are starting to hang down because I'm old. <laughs> and ooh, right there on the cupid's bow and just above. Ooh, yeah. I don't like a lot of fan brushes, but I, this one I do like. Just because there's there's a lot of brush to it. And uh, <clears throat> I feel like I still have that control with the fan brush, but I'm not, you know, just... I'm picking up some, you know, I'm getting something done. <laughs> okay. So the next thing I would do would be some lip liner. Now, what kind of a look am I going to do? I do have kind of an idea what kind of a lip I'm going to do or what kind of an eye I'm going to do. So I think I'm going to use my dark pink L'Oreal liner. This is not a bad liner. 
got some other ones that I like better, but she's been around a long time and she just keeps on going, you know, <laughs> just keeps on being usable. Um, <clears throat> all right, let's go ahead. Okay, now, like I said before, you know, I try to make a shadow down here because I don't have a lot of lip. And you want it to look like you have, you know, some full lips, even when you're old. I don't want to be unattractive, you know, completely. So I'm going to make sure that I go really, plus, I have some issues inside my mouth. So this side of my lip sticks out further than this side. So I'm going to use my liner to kind of make an optical illusion. And kind of even that out. I really need like a one of those ring lights. I'm looking into it. I just don't have a lot of money to spend. And even if I did, I'm a little paranoid because what if I spend, you know, a couple hundred bucks and it's not the right thing or I get ripped off or, you know, you know what I'm saying? Alright, not bad. Now as far as the color is concerned, I can change that later on just by using lipstick. Um, where is the cat? There it is. Ooh. You know, I can put a lipstick over top of this, I, lighter, darker, whatever, and it'll just look ombre. You know, you'll just have this around the outside edge. So. Basically, this is almost, I'm almost using this for a primer, for something to kind of hold my lipstick in place. And this is already lined, so I don't have to worry about pushing the lipstick all the way out to the edge, because I've already done it with this. Kind of, you know, save my booty, because I'm old. <laughs> okay, guys, next thing. Oh, what is our time? It has a time up here. I found it. The problem is it's a white timer, the, the letters, numbers, and it sits right on a white background, so it's really hard to see. Do I want to move this or not? Ooh. That didn't really help a whole lot. Oh, okay. We're at 24. All right. Hmm. Okay. Let's do some brows. Brows. Okay. Me personally, my brows suck. <laughs> I have a lot of hair up here and you know, hardly anything. Like, the tails, you can see, there, there's nothing there, you know. But, my brow hair grows, like, all over the place. Like, there's hairs growing over here. There's hairs growing down under here. There's, they're all over the damn place. So, I pluck a lot, but it's not even like I'm plucking my brows. I'm plucking, like, in, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's, I, I don't even understand. I don't understand. But 
we're going to use the it cosmetics in that universal top or whatever it is that everybody got um i think this came in an ipsy bag this nice little brush so that you know i can brush those two hairs that are at the beginning <laughs> There she be. Actually, I kind of like the length of this pencil. You know, it's it's a travel size or whatever, but it's it's easy to hang. It's like just the right length to hold and maneuver. Now, when I do my brows, I follow the top first. Try to figure out where I'm going. Oh. And then I fix it from the underneath. So, yeah, I know there's not a lot of brow there, but it's because, um, there's not a lot of brow there. <laughs> so, let's, oof. Do something with this one. some reason this one always turns out better i like this eyebrow so much better than this one and i've tried to make them look the same but <laughs> that burning don't fly I mean, if I can just get them the same length, I'll be happy. <laughs> kind of want to go up a little bit more. This one. There we go. Whew. Brows. <coughs> they live. Now, I have this little brush from, hmm actually came in a set vintage from vintage this works really well for like if you mess up somewhere you can kind of blend it a little bit And get rid of, you know, the mess up. Trust me. I mess up. Okay. Um, I got a little elf. Here's this stuff. Uh. Brow gel. Oh, my mind just goes blank, right? I like the product, but that wand really sucks. Well, I will not be repurchasing this because of the wand. I so said the product is fine. And I think maybe if you had more actual lashes than I do having that long of a 
And it's, I don't know if you can see it or not. It's really long. <laughs> of a wand, um, might work better if you had more actual lash to work with, but... It's hard to control one end of this while you're working with the other end because there's just not enough. I just don't have enough lash to, to do that with. So, yeah, I'm trying to. There we go. A little bit. Yeah, I'm trying to kind of brush my couple of hairs up. Meanwhile, the other end is like wanting to rub on my skin and yeah. The product is good, the wand, for someone that just has a, a sparse lash, um, or lash, <coughs> brow, not so good. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, so, um, the next thing that I would be doing would be my eyeshadow, which, you know, that's a whole nother video. So, guys... I hope that, you know, maybe I helped you to find something out or, uh, you know, maybe help you to try out something or use something that you have from a sub box or whatever that you haven't tried because you don't know how to use it. I don't know, but the answer is always Blend, 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 blend. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. Hey, if you're not already a subscriber, what's a hold up? We got makeup. We got dragons. We got goats. What more could you want? <laughs> nah, like us. Hey, he's a little goat. He's so cute. He just wants you to like him. Give him a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. We try to uh, upload three times a week. We have some really important collabs coming up. So I hope that you will stick around with, with you know, and join us for that. Um, other than that, not much going on except makeup. <laughs> I hope you all have a great day. And until the next time, I hope you. Wake up dancing, boom, boom, wake up dancing, boom, 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 wake up dancing every single day. Bye-bye.